A move by the Boy Scouts shaking up century-old traditions now allowing girls to join its ranks. We've been looking for years at the educational value is Cub Scouting, the content, the curriculum. Is it as relevant for little girls as it is little boys? And educators and our parents have said it absolutely is. So we provide a pathway so that girls can now participate fully in Cub Scouting. That move creating some controversy here to weigh in, senior contributor for The Federalist. I get The Federalist, great magazine, Nicole Russell. Nicole, good to see you. So hey, anecdotally, what I've heard from a lot of people on radio and Girl Scout leaders is that leadership programs within the Girl Scouts are not as good as they are in the Boy Scouts. Is that true or is that a problem within the Girl Scouts? You know, whether it's true or not, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly, but I think the, the problem here is that boys need to be left to themselves to do boy things and learn how to be men for boys, and girls can have their own organizations and pursue their own activities. So what's the themselves. agenda then? What, what's the point? Is there an agenda here? I think there is an agenda. I think the National Organization of Women is the group that really pressured the Boy Scouts into making this decision. I think it shows how powerful the feminist lobby is. And they succumb to that. And so now we're trying to neutralize the sex. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that the feminist lobby group that you're talking about, they think they're the, the spokesperson for all young girls and all women. Right. But since this decision has been made, there's actually been a backlash from a number of, of women um, and a number of the, uh, girls speaking out about how important it is to be separate, for, yes. for girls to have their own their thing own. and for boys to have their own thing. I think since the early 70s, they've had mixed events and things they do together, but there is something pretty powerful about you know, having something that is just yours. Yes, I think there, the, the differences between the sexes is not only biological and it's, it's wired in, but it's really important now not to neutralize them, but to separate, celebrate them, to keep them separate. Because in that way, boys learn how to be men from other men, girls how, learn how to be women from women, and then we can, we can both complement each other later on. You talked about this move being potentially part of the end of men. Other people have talked about a war on boys. Yeah. What does this tell us about that? I think, I think when you try to neutralize the difference between the sexes, what happens is that eventually women, it's, it's not enough to be equal. It's not enough to have equal opportunity and equal rights. The feminist lobby wants to be entitled and they want to come into all these groups. Mm -hmm. And so eventually then boys have, have no influence and they just become downplayed over time. How is this so going to work though? I mean, when you think about Boy Scouts, you think about camping you think about going on hikes right. how are you going to combine and they've already been in some trouble of their own right. with issues in the past how are you going to combine young girls and young boys I just I worry about how that moves forward in, yes. in the most productive way possible I worry about that too the onus is on them to try to figure that out and they're going to stumble into those problems and and maybe they will learn quickly that this isn't going to work because they do need to be separate and they need to enjoy their own time together and it's been great to see the Girl Scouts come out really hard against yeah, this too. yeah that, that surprised me Nicole Russell thank you